we have a rectangle. In this case, it almost looks more like a square, but we're going to call it a rectangle anyways. There's one corner on the graph for y equals to 25 minus x squared. So this parabola uh, equation is y equals to 25 minus x squared. And so we have a rectangle that has one corner on the parabola, another corner is on the x-axis, another corner is at the origin, and then we have, you know, the other corner is, of course, that's going to be on the y-axis. We want to express the area of the rectangle as a function of x. And what is the domain of, and then we want to know what is the domain of a, and then graph it. Okay, so from here, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at uh, our problem. And so what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and state that, let's take, go ahead and go back to our other program. So we have this xy coordinate plane, and we have this parabola, and we have a rectangle inside there, and we have x and y, and we have this point here. Now the area of a rectangle we know is length times the width. And so we know that the length here is x. But we need to know what is the width. Well the width is dependent on what this parabola is here. And that equation we says 25 minus x. y equals to 25 minus x squared. Okay. So we have here x is our, we'll call that our length, and our width, that's y. So basically we're looking at x, y. Well y is the 25 minus x squared. So this would be x uh, times the uh, 25 minus x squared. And of course we're going to distribute that. And so we get the area function of 25 x minus x cubed. And that's how we get that. And so we want to put it in functional notation so you put that a of x in there. Now to get the domain basically we take our y equals to 25 minus x squared, we set it equal to 0. And then solve for x. So if we added x to both sides, and then um, apply the square root, okay, well, the problem with this, have using plus or minus, is that <coughs> x, the box, starts at the origin. It doesn't, there is no negative value for our, our rectangle. So in that case, we would drop the minus. And so that would just be x is 5. So as we get further up the curve, 
x gets you know closer and closer to zero. So here's our curve like this. So in that case, when x is gets closer and closer to zero, our, our rectangle gets smaller and smaller. Well, if we went all the way to zero, there'd be no rectangle, it'd just be a line. And if we went the other way, we, you know, x would get further and further out. Well, if we went all the way to 5, again, x would be a line. So in that case, our domain, and, and they use set notation for this, is values in set x where we're going to go from 0, x is greater than 0, but less than 5. And so it's not greater than or equal to or less than or equal to because if x were at 0, then you'd have that line. And if x was at 5, you'd have the line going the other way. So we have to, there's no greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. It's just greater than or less than for our domain. And so if we were to write that in interval notation, that would just be open 0 to 5 like that. In interval notation. Okay, so that takes care of that. So you're using the equation of the parabola to find the domain. All right, and so that's what that is. And then, of course, um, you going you want to graph your area equation, and that's this. You're going to graph this. So you're going to put that in the calculator. Okay, so that's part um, C. Or actually, that would be down here. You're going to graph this area equation. Alright, and so you're going to plug the 25x minus x cubed in there into your equation where y equals, and you get this, what you want the value of, what value of x is the largest area. In other words, where is y going to reach the highest point? So again, you're going to go to second and count, you, after you graph your curve, you're going to go to second and calc, and then you're going to select four for maximum. All right, and um, of course you, you need to make sure that your window is right, and uh, go from there. Okay, so that takes care of um, the second problem.